Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play RuneScape. Today we're going to be doing the Clockwork Syringe Quest to finish off our pirate series. Um, my override for my shield is gone, so that's cool. I've delivered a package to your player-owned house. The delivery note is stuck to the player-owned por house portal. Thanks, Pete. No thanks necessary, Wednesdays. Now I've more posts to deliver. See you around, buddy. Okay, then. Um, where is it? I thought he said, eh, do I have to, what? Where is it? I did go to my player owned house. Well, this is weird. I seem to be off to a bad start. Where the hell is this thing? Oh! Oh, yes, I will take that. I take it and put it in my pack. I accept the quest. RPDT delivery note. A parcel consisting of 1x large and totally inconspicuous quick crate, assured to not contain anything dangerous at all, has been delivered to your player owned house. Note, content of the package unchecked by RPDT, and sender's assurances are not backed by RPDT. Well, that's... that's great. Some players may find the following scenes distressing. There are no kitchen cutscenes to protect your innocence this time. <laughs> okay. Well, that is a big crate. Yes, I would like to investigate the mysterious package. Whoa! Oh, it's this guy again. Oh, but this time he uses a cannon. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, um... Sap. Sap all the stats. That'll be good. That should help, actually, in the long run. Uh, salt. Oh, I'm on the completely wrong setting for my combat abilities. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're destroying my house there, buddy. I don't like this shit that you're throwing one down. So, he's just a big barrel. This time he's actually got a head and he's not a floating brain in the jar. This makes me much happier than I, I recall being last time I saw him. He, he terrified me. He terrified me the last time I saw him. Oh god, he's gonna throw me again. Oh my god, he destroyed half my combat ring. Well, at least he's almost dead. Come on, he's almost there. There we go. Take that. Barrel chest MK2. Mach 2. Okay, turn off my prayers so that they don't interrupt me. Oh, everything's back to normal. That's good. What are you doing here? I'm just here to make sure the repairs are all satisfactory. Repairs? Yes, I heard all the commotion and sent out our repairmen. They should have restored everything in your house to the way it was before your little incident. How much is all this going to cost me? Cost you? Nothing at all. This is all on insurance. Only for you, the standard player-owned house contents insurance policy was recently updated to include acts of zomb zombie mechanical piracy. Wow, that is lucky for me. Is it that much of a widespread problem that the policy needs to include it? In all honesty, no. I never thought it would happen, so I put it in to make the list of covered circumstances seem more attractive. So I took a gamble and lost on that one. Oh well, you can't win them all. Unfortunately, the insurance policy doesn't include removal of the perpetrator of the attack. You'll have to deal with him yourself. That's fine, I was just about to have a quiet word with him anyway. 
that case, I shall bid you good day and return to the office. I'll just be taking that delivery note as evidence for your claim, you see? That's fine. Here, take it. Good day. Now, I wonder how that little skeleton had carried this guy here. Because that's a little... No, I don't want to switch back. I like my ancient prayers. Okay. Let's interrogate you, you zombie head. Who sent you? Why did you attack me and smash up my stuff? I'll never tell ye anything. We'll soon see about that. Oh, I'm gonna pull my nose. Insult the zombie slightly. Nose pinch. What way? Big nose. Okay. So, do I have to get a stress level all the way up there? I don't know. Who sent you? Why did you attack? Okay, so I don't know if I have to get a stress level up. Stick your fingers in the zombie's nose. Moderately increase the stress level effect double diffused immediately after a nose pinch. Okay. So I'm not quite sure I understand what to do here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch his nose, and then do that. Enough! Okay, yeah, I did have to get a stress level up. I thought maybe, like, the stress level was not what you wanted. Tell me what you know. Who sent you? You made some powerful enemies. Thanks to that inquisitive nose of yours, Wednesdays, I was sent here to eliminate you on behalf of the most powerful. You know of whom I speak, Wednesdays. Captain of the Hiss, Albatross, condemned to the depths by those friends of yourn. He's back to wreak his vengeance on all of ye. Rabbit Jack! Aye, Wednesdays, you guys are now, with all the trouble you've been causing us. What are his plans? Tell me now. I'm one of many, Wednesdays. Tell me how you think Mosley Harness will fare against an army of us barrel chests. That's right. They be being made, and even as we speak, you're doomed. All doomed. Where's the factory? Where are they being made? I'll never tell ye, even though torture worse than you've already given me. Ugh, I need to warn Bill Teach as soon as possible, and you're coming with me. You stuff the still protesting zombie head into your pack. Now I'll need to go warn Bill before it's too late. Can't treat someone like this. They'll be fluffing the bottom of your bag. I'll be getting in my nose. Yeah, and there's also a ton of sharks that I really don't want his zombie skin touching. Just a little bit. There we go. Refill that. And let's go head over to old Bill Teach. See what he has to say about this whole situation. Do do do. Do do do. I got my fishbowl helmet and my diving apparatus. I wonder why I have all that stuff. Do I have to go underwater? Well, it did say I needed them, so probably yes. Definitely yes, actually. But uh, clockwork strange. Bill, I have news about... But you know who. You tell from your eyes that this be no joking matter, lad. I think we should go somewhere more private to talk, you know. Save panic of the locals. We're on your ship. Alright, Bill, where should I meet you? Joe's house or rum in the corner. He'll ask you if you're sure. You reply, I... Sit in that chair and ask Joe for a long drop. He'll ask you if you're sure. You reply with I, drop me. Joe is in Northern Mosley Harmless. Trust me, Wednesdays. Alright, I guess. Guess I have to go to Mosley Harmless. So, a clockwork sy sy bleh, syringe. I think it's supposed to be a play on words for the clockwork orange, which I believe is a book? Not too sure about that. Oh, look, it's uh, Brother Tranquility all zombied up still. So, I have to find a seat that I, I can... Mm. 
No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Where's... Oh. This is also part of it. Oh, there it is. What will it be? A long drop. You sure? I drop me. Take a seat. Is this actually going to be like a thing where I actually fall through the floor? Oh, yeah, it is. Nice entrance, lad. Why is it that wherever a pirate tells me to go somewhere, I end up with a headache? I'm sure I have no idea what you mean. Now, to business. What is it you wanted to tell me? I've got urgent news about Rabbit Jack. Why can't you ever learn not to say that name, lad? Damn it, Bill, we don't have time for this. Listen to me. You're worrying me, Wednesdays. I've never seen you this riled. Tell me what's happened. I was attacked in my home by an assassin. Part zombie, part mechanical, all pirate, and all evil. He claims he was sent by you-know-who and is one of an army being built to attack Mostly Harmless. That be a tall tale, lad. You know our rules and customs regarding this matter. The oath we all swore. I trust you have evidence? Yes, I do have evidence. Well then, let's see it. Put it on that table over there. What are ye looking at? Bill? I'm just thinking, Wednesdays. I wish I could say this is the weirdest thing that we've been through together. But it's not. Come on then, lad. Tell me what was what's going on while I was in my house. And then I brought this decapitated head here to you. And if what you're saying be true, we all be in grave danger, and we need to act now. That's why I brought him here. I subjected him to brutal torture, but he wouldn't give me the location of the factory where this army is being built. Well, Renzies, fortunately, there'd be more than one way to skin a cat, and I happen to know quite a few of them myself. Ha, huh, you'll never get me to talk, you great Jesse. What do you think you can do that'll scare a dead man's head? I never said I planned to scare you. Renzies, I need you to do me a favor. I think I can get our friend here to crack his lips for us, but I need some special equipment for the job. Equipment I happen to know Brain Death has in abundance. Okay, so you need me to go and pick it up? What am I getting from him? A head vice? Or maybe flesh eating ants? Oh, is it hot pokers? Something far worse than all of those combined. Something so terrifying details cannot be divulged. You need to ask Brain Death for a Tweeblick Night Special. I mean to go ask Brain Death for a Tweeblick Night Special? Whatever that be, don't scare me. He's a poet and you don't even know that he's making rounds happen. Ah, Renzi is a Twiblack Night special. I cannot tell you of its unspeakable contents or the horrific things it has inflicted upon the world until you prove to me a brain death you can be trusted to keep it a secret. But he'll entrust you with its transport to me as long as it's securely locked. Bring it back here to me when you've got it. He gives me a scrap of paper. Be a spell sheet containing two ancient parts piratical spells. One can teleport you from Moss Lehamas to Brain Death Island, the other does the reverse. Oh, may include minor headaches. Oh, nothing. Get going, lad. Time is not on our side. Okay. You must be to the north of... There must be a space to the north of you to cast a spell. Okay. The spell can only be used at ground level in s Oh, god damn you. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see the trap door between... Whatever. Ah, uh, There's always something wrong, isn't there? Are you serious? That's how this spell works? <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. Okay. Yes. Hey there, lad. What can I do for you? I'm here on behalf of Bill Teach. We have an urgent situation unfolding, and he's asked me that I request the Twiblick Night Special. These be dire times indeed if he we be resorting to that. No doubt you've been told that what. 
you're asking me for is not a trifling request to be taken lightly. I usually drop everything to help you out, you know that? But I have problems of my own right now, lad. You don't seem too pleased to be telling me about this. Well, it's not a happy tale, Renzi's. So many brewers have gone missing. How long have the brewers been missing for? Where were they seen last? Well, they went to investigate an odd doorway-looking thing that was uncovered in a minor earthquake to the north of the island. No one else could fathom it, but these three were fresh recruits that just sailed in from Daemonham. They said they could figure it out, so I sent them through. That was three days ago. <laughs> so if I rescue these brewers, you'll prepare the twelve like night special for me, Bill Teach? I Renze's that I will. Although I'm not expecting a rescue at this point. If you find them, bring me proof of their fate, that'll suffice. While you're searching, I'll see about preparing the night special for you. One more thing, lad. There'd be water leaking out of the doorway looking thing. There's a fairly good chance that whatever's on the other side is flooded. I need to take something that'll let you breathe underwater. That were convenient. Good thinking on bringing it along. Nope. Let's just go there. You said to the north? Oh, okay, it is at the north. Ah, we're coming back here. Give us rum, you scurvy dogs. Never. 50% Luke. So it's just over here, right? Oh no, that's him. That's him. There it is. So I have to get past 50% Luke. Which is pretty simple. I just actually have to go through the gate, don't I? Some of you wondering, I need like 77 agility for um, Ritual of the Marajet, so I, I got some Silver Hawks on because whatever. Yeah. So you're gonna see me getting like some uh, agility experience randomly throughout the day. Throughout the episode. Sneak packs me. That is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Where? I wonder if that only works 50% of the time. Either way, I wonder how these brewers got past him. Oh, it's a dungeoneering entrance. That explains why you need dungeoneering to do this quest. Oh god, we're underwater. Oh my god, what's going on? Why am I... General Malpractitioner. Okay. Do I need to run through the place? Um, yes, I'd better just run. Gotta find those, uh, dead people. Actually, I think they could be alive. Did I kill a rump pump crowd? I don't think I did. Oh my, oh, there's one of them. Okay, let's just kill off all these things. Yep, yeah, that's one down. I actually got the achievement for killing a rum pump crab without actually doing it in Dungeoneering though. That's pretty cool. I'm kinda happy about that. What did you- oh, you dropped gold ore. I'm poisoned? I don't like that. But you know what, I should have actually probably just used Rejuvenate. That'll do me a world of good. Do these crabs poison people? I'm guessing they do. And this really does look like a dungeon young floor. But who's in there? Okay, you know what? Just die. There we go. Rest in peace, Trent. Also, did I take his badge? So I need to find all three then, right? Okay, there's another one in the middle area. But I have to check the other side first because there's three and I don't want to miss one because then it's going to make me come all the way back here. You know what, I've always wondered what's down these pits of darkness. So it's cool that there's water around it now because maybe I could actually surf down there. Well, not surf. Dive, matey, dive. Everything go away. Everything's so annoying. Okay, dead brewer. 
Okay, so I got his badge. Now there's just that last person. Which looks like they're in the boss room. I wonder if there's actually gonna be a boss fight, like Astia Frostweb underwater. She just freezes herself and instantly dies. That would actually be too funny. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill you. So you can't actually finish the dungeon. That's kind of weird. This would make a weird boss room though, but it does kind of look like this pit here is for that um, Night Gazer guy, I think is his name. Or maybe it's not Night Gazer. Um. Oh god, come on. Don't you guys respawn? Okay, good, he's dead. Looks like the brewer didn't make it. I'll see if I can find his name badge. His name is Jimmy. I should bring the news to the captain. If only we're happier news. Rest in peace, Jimmy. Yeah, I know, this is not a very cool dungeon though. It's not that big. It's three by three. Nine floors total. Leave me alone, everything! There are no dungeoneering resources in there. I am not happy. I would have loved to steal some. Okay, I guess I don't need those on right now. Alright, I have to pass this stupid gate. Eat my fish. My shark fish. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, what? What are you doing there? Nothing. Well, Captain Donnie said no living animals were allowed out of the compound. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm back on this side now. Can anything boost thieving? Why, yes. I'm just gonna say yes. But for now, I have to finish this quest up. So, here's uh, your badges. I found the three missing brewers. You can tell from your eyes it isn't good news, lad. Let's have it. Rory, Jimmy, and Trent, all dead. I'm sorry. What's going on down there? Well, the place is full of zombie surgeons injecting rum into the wildlife. The crabs down there are giant and very, very aggressive now. So that's what the swine was doing with me, rum. Well, he'll get name more from me. All that can you can rest. Anyway, lad, back to business. I have the night special for you right here. But even ye aren't getting it without swearing the oath. If you think yourself ready, runs days, the oath ye be about to swear carries with it untold weight. A secret will be entrusted with me. Must be carried to your grave. Yes, I'm ready. Then repeat after me. I, runs days, swear to thee. What happens at sea stays at sea. None shall learn of the oath from me. And if anyone does, Captain Brain Death smash me face in. With an anchor. And he's definitely not kidding. Okay, Wednesdays, you're ready. The oath be sworn. Perhaps yourself. Take it to Bill Teach. He has the key. Um, let's see. I've never seen a quest with a uh, boostable thieving being allowed. Like, you know, most of the time it's just you need this thieving level. Because most quests don't allow boosted skills. Oh man, I have to get back in this chair. A long drop. Okay. Okay. I got you your... Yes. Hand it here, Wednesdays. There's your casket. I did. It was particularly a brutal oath that I don't intend to break. Good. Then I'll unlock it for you. 
There, it is done. Open the special once you've mentally prepared yourself, then come back here. Yes. Really? Open it? It could scar you forever. Yes! JUST OPEN IT! It's gonna be wine, isn't it? What in the world? The chest is full of feminine wigs and various kinds of makeup. What? I guess I need to talk to Bill Teach about the plan now. So, uh, I'll open the Twiblick Night Special. I'm a little hesitant to ask, but... Why do you have a secret box full of women's apparel? What happens at sea, Mr. Wednesdays, stays at sea. Or did you forget the oath already? With, with an anchor? No, no. I didn't forget. How are we going to use this to get the information? We're going to give our friend here a makeover, lad. Come again? I Come again? We're going to make you the prettiest thing to ever sail on the several seas. Wait, let's be reasonable about this. And then we'd be going to parade you around in front of your old crew. No, you can't. Well, lad, would you do the honors of choosing how we beautify our friend here? With pleasure. Right then, when it's time to choose how we make our cats here pretty. <laughs> you don't scare me. First off, choose a wig. Shall we give her a bob, a bun, a fringe, or pigtails? Oh, I really want to say pigtails, but I don't know what a fringe or a bob is, so I want to see what one of those looks like. A fringe. Not a fringe. It'll itch me forehead, and I cannot scratch it. Now, on to some color for these cheeks. What color shall we pick, these days? Orange. No, I don't want to look fake tanned. We need to bring out those eyes, but which eyeshadow would go best on our friend here? Oh, he's already kind of bluish-greenish, so purple. I'm just trying to pick the most, like, outstanding color so he just looks like a clown. You'll not stop until I'm wearing all black and worshipping Zamrak, will you? Now we need to make those lips kissable, wild lad. Pink. Be pretty in pink. Well, I think that's everything, lad. What say we get started? You're going to be so pretty when we're done, you'll turn heads. Aye, some stomachs too. Stay back. <laughs> some stomachs too. <laughs> uh, no. Just no. No! <laughs> oh, actually I like the fringe. That's what Sarah had back on the island. Alright, I'll talk. I'll talk. Yeah, he definitely looks like a clown. I'll talk. You and your friend get ready to listen. Okay, Bill, I have to make sure you're ready to listen. Alright, I hope you're listening well. You need to start out sailing with a relative bearing of 223 degrees from harmony and carry on for 500 cable lengths. Don't interrupt him, lad. So we sail south of here for 500 nautical miles. Then what? If you look east, you'll see a beacon just within your arc of visibility. Sail directly toward it for 120 fathoms, then bear starboard hard. And I mean hard. You'll see a rock formation. You need to be listening on your beam ends to get yourself under it and find yourself in a lagoon. Not the lair of the many tentacle beast of unpleasant encounters. Aye, the very one. You need to sail straight out the other side. Then club hull starboard as soon as you hit open water. Sail around the reef, making sure you stick close to land, and you'll see the island in the distance. That'll be where you're aiming. Hang on a second. That'd put the factory on Blood Splatter Isle. Aye, what's your point? Blood Splatter Isle be Cardinal South from here. Why didn't you just say so? I were hoping you'd take the long way around and sink on your way. You'll be dangerously close to another makeover pedal. I'd watch myself, Harry. No, anything about that. I'll be straight with you from now on. I swear. Um, Bill? What is it, lad? Do we know where we're sailing to now? Aye, Cardinal South. We have found the place quicker if we'd set sail without asking our hairdressers practice dummy here for directions. Hey, zombie heads are people too, you know. Now let's hit the waves. All right, Wednesdays, what are we waiting for? Meet me aboard the ship. We can talk all you want when we when we get where we're going. Alrighty. Wait, do I need to grab that head? Um... 
have a bearing for the factory, yada yada yada. Okay, I don't need the head. Otherwise it would have told me to get it. But that is weird. Okay, so. Now that I have prettied up his head, I gotta go and sail. I'm probably gonna get attacked by a boat, aren't I? Yes, let's go get underway. We're sailing, sailing across the open seas. We don't have a crew to share. Oh, he's, oh, he's here. The zombie head is here. Ah, there you are. We'll be approaching Blood Splatter Island soon. I have to tell you that I'm still hoping you're wrong about you know who being involved in all this. What? The zombie head. You told me yourself that he's involved. Aye, so you say, but he never mentioned that name to me. Don't fret though, Renzi's. We're on our way to investigate and shut down the facility now. If you know who really is involved, you'll find the evidence needed to prove it while you're there, no doubt. So if you get conclusive evidence of his involvement in all this, will you finally actually be able to do something about it? If you get me something that backs up what our makeover mannequin said about this being a planned attack on Mosley Harmless, action will be taken. You can be rest assured of that. We'll be approaching a visual distance to the item. It says you'll have your answers soon, so incoming! Oh god. We'd be under fire, lad. Hang on to something. Phew, now we're a close call. We're lucky to not be sitting pretty around the sea right now. Where did that attack come from, Bill? Seems our guy forgot to mention the welcoming party. We were fired at from the island itself. You didn't expect them to roll up the red carpet and just let you sail on in, surely? You really be trying my patience, Devil. It's just you realize the gravity of your predicament. I'd hate to have to pierce your ears. Ugh! Nice big gold hoops. They look just darling on a gal like ya. Alright, I get the picture. How are we ever going to get to the island now? We'll be sunk for sure if we're sailing in. Oh, I knew you'd think of something, Captain. What is it? Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Now, before I go telling ya, you have to promise to hear it out all the way to the end when we start objecting and you complaining. I'm... I'm not going to like this, am I? Depends on how healthy your sense of adventure is, lad. Now, here's the plan. We can't very well sail down to the dock. Uh, rightly pointed out. Because we'd be riddled with holes and sunk before we made it halfway there. We also have limited resources on the ship. All we have to hand is cannons and cannonballs, gunpowder, some crates and barrels, and some chains. Now, I have a plan involving these objects that ends up with ye on the island. Go on... All you need to do is use some of the gunpowder to flash heat a chain and smith it into a cannonball. There'll be a hammer and anvil in the hold along with plenty of powder, cannonballs, and chains. Then you need to attach the other end of the chain to one of the empty barrels. And then, then you sit in the barrel, we put the cannonball in the cannon, double dose of powder, then fire yourself to the island. Well, that, you want me to make a cannonball barrel boat, sit on the barrel, and then fire it across the sea to the island using a cannon. Are you quite mad? Awesome! I'll get right on it. That's what I like about you, lad. You're always enthusiastic and you're... you're daft as a box of frogs. Thanks. Wait. Aww. <laughs> okay. So, I need to go and get all this shit. Um... Bin gun locker? Search. Take a cannonball. What about the other stuff I need? Oh look, the chest has been replaced by an anvil. How lucky for me. Oh, a heated chain. How, how do I do that again? Oh, tinder box it. There we go. I didn't even need the tinder box. But where do I find the barrel? Um, I'm gonna need another cannonball. Didn't he say that? Oh no. Maybe I just need to load it in then? Or not? I don't quite know how he wants me to do this. Am I putting it on? No, no, no. Oh, 
Oh, it's that way. Nothing interesting happens. Okay, so I clearly have to use this on a barrel. Nothing? Oh, take one of... Oh, God, how did I not see these barrels all stacked up? There we go. So he's not coming to the island with me, is he? No? Take the ride. Well, here goes. I want to see this. I really want to see this. Whee! Oh my god. Best form of transport ever. Escape perch rock. Squawk, squawk, squawk. When indeed, Wednesdays. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I certainly haven't. Uh, do I know you? You wound me. How could you forget the devastation you inflicted? It's still escaping me, I'm afraid. I kept your shirt, you know. What? And the accordion, too. No, it can't be. The seagull from the rock that I fired at young Ralph's head? Very good, Wednesdays. Travel before me, for I am Baron Von Hatten Crapper. So what are you doing here? I had come here after hearing you were on your way to wreck my revenge on you for firing me out of that makeshift vacuum pump. Then, shock! Watch with my own beady eyes as you strapped yourself to a cannonball and fired yourself across the ocean. That's the only reason I haven't already unleashed havoc and devastation upon you. I want to know why you would inflict such a thing upon yourself. Is this your way to atone? No, it was just my ride in. A pity, but well, regardless of your motivations, after seeing you launch through the air, as you did to me, I feel the score is settled. Circumstances dictate that I must put the grudge to rest now. Consider this even, Wednesdays. Now, I have a proposal for you. Ah, yes, to business. Well, Wednesdays, you and I have a common enemy, and I propose we work together to defeat it. What do you mean? I refer to the lumbering monstrosities that opened fire on your ship as it tried to approach the island, of course. They have also been firing upon me each time I attempt to leave the island. I am restricted to flying around within the watery confines of this island prison. We both have something to gain here. I propose we collaborate and conquer. I am a very strong flyer, Wednesdays. I can lift heavy objects, say, cannonballs, from that pile over there. However, it takes all my concentration to do so. You are a summoner of considerable s skill. I propose you commune with me and control my actions to allow me to rain devastation from the sky and obliterate our enemies. So Wednesdays, are you ready to rain destruction on our foes? Yes! Fucking yes! Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. This is... Come on, turn! Why are you not listening to me? There we go. Oh, oh, that killed him. It does leak damage. Okay, I, I think I get it. No, what are you doing? Okay, I, never mind. I do not get what, how, how to control this thing. Oh god, damn you! Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I get it. I get it. I gotta do this. Oh no, that missed. Oh, right. Okay. So I gotta bomb these guys. I, I was facing the wrong direction. Okay, turn around. Okay, that got that one. Go this way. I know that there's one more this way. Then south. Just one more guy. Now that I understand how to control this stupid bird. Okay. He moved. Ever so slightly.
There we go. That's... Is that all of them? I hope that's all of them. Because I have no idea. There's probably more over here, though. Yeah, this is just like... This is actually pretty cool. Oh, oh. No! I, have to, I forgot that I have to keep this map this way. Yes. There we go. Oh, that was the last one. Okay. Okay, so... I must admit, Wednesdays, we have made a good team. Perhaps it is wiser to have you as an ally than an enemy. I've been thinking the same. I'd be flinching and avoiding imaginary cannonballs every time I heard her squawk otherwise. Should I return to your ship? Your companion will be able to dock now. As the port is undefended. It's just about to actually, before you suggested it. Of course, Wednesdays. Of course. Dive? Can I do I have to put this stuff on? Swim. Alrighty, Bill Teach. We can approach now that I've killed off all the barrel things. Guns are disabled. It's safe to approach the end. That's good to hear, Wednesdays. How did you go about it in the end? Well, the guns turned out to be barrel chests patrolling the beach with their cannon arms. Couldn't get close or I'd have been splattered by their anchors. So I telepathically communed with a seagull, the nefarious Baron Von Hattencrapper, and told him to drop cannonballs on them. Just for once. Couldn't have been something normal, like smashing them with a big hammer? Uh, well, it's good news nonetheless. <laughs> Want me to drop you off, lad? Um, yeah, it's gonna take me to Blood Splatter Island. So basically, that is normal for me. That is normal life. Disorderly. Tainted rum. Ab second with shelf. Pillage. Wait, what? Can I? Can I actually like take all this? I'm kind of like wondering if I can make myself look like a barrel chest. No. No, I cannot. What happens if I get caught? No, seriously, what happens if I get caught? Wait, what? Okay. So clearly, I do have to make a disguise. But I'm not... I'm not sure how I do this. Since I got all that stuff... It's not really telling me to... Oh, that's my agility. Okay, take a barrel from here. What do I make with this? I am totally lost. Okay. What? I'm subdued by a crazy zombie surgeon throwing syringes filled with sedatives. I need to get back to Bill. Oh. Oh, god damn it. I probably would have done that next, but. Like, I thought I would have to struggle with this for like 10 minutes. Why can't he just remain docked here? Okay. I have a problem. Well done, you finally admitted it, lad. That's half the battle. What? No, I mean there's a problem with the investigation. The complex is heavily guarded with zombie surgeons using precision thrown sedatives. Couldn't you get in at all? There's a storage area just inside the complex I can access. It had a bunch of medical supplies and what looked like dismantled barrel chests on the shelf. He 
You can walk freely around the complex if you look like one of them, I'd wager. You're going to need parts for the disguise. Go and grab a roll of bandage, a surgical mask, and a bundle of parts. Okay. I'll gather the things you've asked for. Without leaving. <laughs> okay. Take your thing in my jam and put it into that. Ugh. That's what she said. There, we're done. Okay. Oof. Oof. That'll be our pretty little friend, lad. Finish the disguise nicely, don't you agree? She'll keep her mouth shut, too. Stuffed her with bandage and stuck on that mask to make sure of that. Well, I guess it's time I take her out for a spin. I guess it is. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Just, I have to. Take me to Blood Splatter Island. I can't just disembark the ship when it's in the middle of the sea. Okay, let's be putting on our disguise. I can only wear it in the facility. Perfect. Th that explains this game so well. Of course you can only use it on the, uh... base. Oh, here we go. Wow. Now that I'm disguised, I should hunt for incriminating evidence. Notice board. Okay. Oh, wow. This thing... This thing moves like a brick. Yep. This is how a brick moves. Do we need it elsewhere? Down the hall. Oh, yeah? Needed by who? Where be the shift change papers? Hey, wait, what? Oh! Oh, I see. Uh, oh, it's... That's funny. A grim turn. It's not an intern, it's a grim turn. That's pretty funny, actually. And a crate of zombie heads. That's cool. Oh, I'm transmogrified into this form. It's not a disguise, it is now a form. Oh, yeah, you are so weak. Why were your brothers so much stronger? Why can't I even use this hand cannon? Oh, come on, just kill him. We got stuff to investigate. Phew, that's the last of them. Now I need to investigate that notice board. What's this? If I a suspicious letter, you take a file from the notice board and put the letter in it. Oh, I need five. Okay. Um, there's a notice board here, so that'll be helpful. What guards? That thar be rum in me tum. Okay. Ah, oh, what's this? More evidence. Okay, so the only one I gotta worry about is you over there. A crate of legs. Hmm. Uh, wait, what? Okay. That's all of them. Let's just stand back. This could get messy. Oh, they're actually flesh arms. Okay. That's creepy, actually. New time, lads. Let's get started on this latest batch. Okay. Come on. Oh, I didn't get to see that. How is that even possible? That's not meant to bend like that. My eyes. My glorious eyes. Please, make it stop. Is it... Is it over? I think it's safe to investigate now. Well, that was thoroughly disturbing, I guess. I uh, what's this? More 
files, yay. Oh, one more no notice board. Hey, where are you going? I said read the notice board. Oh my god, where are you going? Investigate the notice board. Oh, finished building. Preferably explosive. Oh, wait. I'm guessing I used the gunpowder to finish building them. No, no, I do not do that. Hmm. No, I can't even search those crates. Where does my character keep the keys going? Something bang like deserves it. Okay. Lifting the barrels onto the bed so I can finish here. New brother, I mean, uh, just a minute, matey. It's one opportunity for sabotage. I can make these barrel chests come in and go out with a bang. How? How? Oh. Okay. I get it. Creative heads. Did one of them just wink at me? Yeah. So I have to. No. No, what are you doing? Okay. Take a barrel. Or three. Come on. There we go. Let's put gunpowder in them all. Alright. Now that that's done, there isn't enough room to wear my disguise. And it's not working when I click on it this time. Oh, I hate when I click on it and it either doesn't work or my character decides to run in the complete opposite direction for no fucking reason. They do that so often. I don't get it. Why does he feel the need to do that? Okay. Yeah, that's one. That's two. And three. Oh. All three of them blew up at the same time. So now I got four of the five papers. Last one's in this room, but I apparently need this guy's papers. Okay, nothing I can do there. Sabotage gas canister. Canister. Okay. I cleaned the hall of me boat this morning. It were covered in barnacles. Oh, so three pirates walk into a bar. Wow, my jokes are as good as my real life ones. Your mom's fat. What? No, seriously. What? Okay. Ah, what's this? I think that should be enough evidence that I should go back to Bill Teach. Hmm. Yes, that's what I should do. Oh, you walk like... It looks like I'm wearing those, like, old-fashioned Japanese kind of, like, wooden sandals that you see in old horror... Not horror, um, old, uh, samurai things. Even old samurai anime, like Afro Samurai or Samurai Champloo. Okay, well, I got all these documents. I don't know what's in them myself. But I'm sure I can figure it out. I performed some heavy sabotage on the facility and occurred a lot of evidence pointing to the involvement of Rabbit Jack backing up the story about the attack on Mosley House finishes reading and hands it back. This is grave news indeed, lad. You need to go and finish the job before it's too late. You shouldn't need to wear the barrel chest disguise inside anymore. You've wiped out all the guards. Now, I'll keep it with me in case we need it in the future. 
Here, Wednesday, take these and level that production line. A stash of powder kegs. Anything else, lad? Can you take me to the island so I can, you know, use all this stuff? That'd be pretty nice. Okay. Oh, that poor little seagull. Oh, I can't even examine it from here. I got a large bundle of kegs to destroy this production line. And those, those, those arms. Ugh. Oh, do I need to go to the other side of this thing? Oh, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, I do have to activate it first. Yes. Time to go, Murphy. You're far too... Oh, no. Oh! 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 Okay. Okay, I think I see what I have to do. Wait, what? So this is not what I expected it to do. Okay, so I have to do like six or seven barrels. Okay, that one's inactive now. I gotta work on this one here. Problem is, my interface is in the way. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. Oh no, this one survived. Okay, that one survived. So that's cool. Everything else is destroyed now. Do I have to give chase? Um, let me check what my quest... Come on, I'm not in combat anymore. I would destroy the production machinery in the factory and witness my Goran mechanical Murphy fling toward the docks. At the I should hurry and follow them. Okay, but how do I get over there? Can I... Oh, jump wall. As you leave the air, there are many zombies. Repair and reset the machinery. What? That's bullshit. Okay. Where are you, my gore? And Mechanical Murphy. You'll never stop us now, Renzes. Say hello to our secret weapon. Our Zomboat Armado. Oh, waste. Oh, waste what? Need to catch them somehow. Oh, I know how. Oh my god. Fire at boat. Okay. This is kind of cool. It's like horrible battleship. Oh, there's Murphy's. Oh, you get back here right now. Oh no, there's another one. Oh, you get back here. I don't care if it's out of range. Go after it. Like, what the hell? It's out of range. So what? That's why you give chase. Oh, it's coming back. No, no, no. Come 
Come on, it's almost sunk. There we go. That one's down. Now there's this guy. Okay, fine. You want to play this game? How? That little bar isn't even... What? That bar, I thought it was supposed to tell me if I was getting too damaged. Oh, now it has a health option. Well, aren't you? Just... Where are you going? When I click shoot on a ship, you should go towards it. Oh my god. Repair. How did their ships... Oh, what? I don't know. You get back here. Repairing did nothing to my ship. My target is... That's why I'm... Oh my god! Stop moving, you stupid boat. Okay, you know what? Fuck this shit. How did that fucking mess? Why can't I seem to repair my boat? Oh, because I can't be moving while I'm repairing the boat. That's stupid. Come on. It's beyond my skill to repair. God damn these ships. I'm clicking on him! Why? This is the stupidest thing ever. I can't move anymore. Okay, so that's my gore down. I can't move anymore that way. Come on. Continue repairing the damage to my ship, because this has become utter bull. Like, this was cool at first, but now it's just... They get their little attack, and I can't move and attack at the same time like they can. Hey, 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 hey! Come on! Okay, you know what? Repair. I got that sink and feel it. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, yes, yes, yes. No. Now they're running away. Come on. Why are they out of range, but I'm in range? That's so stupid. So unfair. They got much further range than I do. Okay, you know what? Just die, just die. I don't care if I get a hit or two. Cause there's one guy left. And I know where he was. Should just be over here. If I sail down the center, he won't be out of range regardless of where he is. He's in the same type of boat as me, so he shouldn't be at any safer distance. Heat docking. Okay. He's stuck. One more hit. Got him. Okay. They've all been sunk. Phew. I think I stopped them all. Time I sailed back to the adventurers to talk to Bill. Way anchor. Toot toot. I got that bitch a tugboat. Bitches love tugboats. Okay. Bill. Saw the battle from here, Wednesdays. Good sailing. Come on, lad. We cannot do no more damage around here. Let's sail back to Mosley Hamas and meet in Joe's basement. Okay. No, but seriously though, when they when they do stuff like that, it was a cool concept, but they completely screwed it up by making it an unfair battle. Hey, I'm not even talking five to one. That's fine with me.
but the fact that they have longer range and the, the health bar wasn't even there for the first fight. What would it be? Long drop. Of course. Always long drop. Why does this animation take so long, too? Why does he even need to go to a cutscene for it? Well, lad, you did it. You stopped the attack of the Hamas and you proved to me that you know who is back. I had hoped this day would never come. Well, it has. Captain, and we need to do something about it. What should we do next? I need time to make the necessary arrangements and gather the captains together. Without Gentleman Mallard, the council will be needing a new head. I guess it's up to me. Since only me, you've shown that you know who has returned. Thanks for that, lad. Guess I should get started. What became of your, our pretty little friend? I've kept her in custody, Wednesdays, along with your disguise. We may just be needing that again one day. I guess that means it's in the next quest. You train yourself up and prepare. When the time comes, I'll contact you. For now, you just enjoy your victory. That's a lot of stats. Alrighty. Um, we need to use up Miss Spins or Keys, whichever you want to call them. Alright. I don't know which skill, should, so ranged. Anyways, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play RuneScape. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Toodles, everyone!